how to create a button to clear cells in excel except formula hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this advanced excel tutorial i'm going to create a button here and when i press that button it will ask for a data range when i select this data range it will remove all the values but it will not remove the formulas which i have in column e this is what i'm going to show you today let's get started <laughs> Take a look at this workbook here. I have data from column A to E and I have values only from cell A1 to C6 and I have formulas here in cell E1 to E4. I have sum, average, max and min. So these are the formula but I want to clean all these values. Normally if I delete this you can see the formula has been removed but I want to clear only values not these formulas. Okay. So to do that we are going to use Visual Basic for application. Firstly click on the developer tab, click on visual basic, click insert and click module. Now close the VVE and now I'm going to create a button here. Okay, I have showed three different ways to create button to run VBA code and you can check them here. I'm going to list all of them. I'm not going to show you how to create button here, but you can check them from this link. Okay, so this is our button and I'm going to assign the macro here. Click here. So this is our button and our macro has been assigned already. If you have created a floating button, you must have added the macro there also or you can even add a button here in the quick access to Toolbar. all of them are listed here please check that and create your button and after you have created your button it's time to run the code so if i click here it is asking for the data range i'm going to select the data range and if i click ok you can see all the data has been removed but the formula is still here okay so if i write something here you can see if i fill the data here again the formula is working again run the code select the data range and click ok and you can see all the value has been deleted but your formula is still there also if you want to lock your formula i have already created a tutorial on that you can check that also now this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon.com slash excel train tutorial also if you need the vba code please sign up using the link in the description and the code will be sent to your email thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe thank you